doing is filming a time lapse of a build. I bet you can't guess what it is. Yes, indeed. It's a joystick button panel. Here's, <laughs> here's one I made earlier. And uh, it's uh, eight mil thick. Buttons feel solid. They fit perfectly. And uh, they're all located quite nicely. It's actually quite difficult to manually do this, even with a template, and get the spacing right. So hopefully, this should look, uh, whoops, this should look absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to remove the um, the support medium. Oh, there goes the support medium. And these buttons fit absolutely beautifully. So obviously, um, two joysticks. We're going to need a couple of these. Here's another one in progress. Oh no. You see, this is the problem with 3D printing. You see, this guy has lifted up here at the back. It really sucks. Anyway, I'm trying to film a time lapse of this build. But it looks like I'm going to have to start the build again. Uh, maybe need to put a little bit more glue down. Okay, uh, be right back. So this, my friends, <laughs> is the trials and tribulations of 3D printing. Right, let's, uh, let's start this again. Just clean the build bed up a little bit and uh, get a bit more glue down. This is, uh, this is the glue that I use. It's just uh, PVA mixed with water. So uh, we'll get some more of that down and we'll restart this process. Right, finally, we've gotten to a point where things are sticking to the bed. So uh, we'll let that carry on and we'll see if we, uh, we'll see if we end up with a print for you. Righty-ho then, here it is. Uh, right, that's um, quite well glued down. Uh, let's get the camera off. So this is the, um, this was the, ah! That little Yi 4K camera, I was using that to shoot the uh, the time lapse of the build. So, pull the dragon clips off, crocodile clips, whatever you want to call them. And uh, for those of you that haven't seen a 3D printer before, there's a little borosilicate glass sheet. This didn't come with a borosilicate glass sheet, but I found that this really helps. So get that out of the way. Um, and then we've got to find a way of, uh, of getting this off. Now, normally, I find that like one of these little tools, it looks like a little trowel, and you can get sort of behind the, uh, oh, here it goes. Oh, listen to that. Oh! <laughs> All right, cool. So, let's pop that back on there. Just clean up a little bit of the um, the plastic extrusions here that that sort of uh, misprinted. So hopefully you'll notice what I've done. There's a little lip in here so that these tabs on the Sanwa buttons clip into those little links there. So here we go. Let's push one in place. Boom. That was a satisfying click. Beautiful. So, here's one I made earlier. We've got two of them now. We're going to end up with two joysticks. Oh, I better get on and print the other bits for the actual joysticks themselves. So, uh, oh, listen to that. Again, we're going to print another little uh, black plastic mask for this so that uh, we can screw it into our wooden into our wooden enclosure. <laughs> so what we've got here is the uh, one of the first prints that I did, but the idea behind this template now is I'm going to use it to mark out where I need to cut the holes for the buttons. 
Ultimately, we're just gonna use this as a template. Thanks kindly to Monster Joysticks for these parts. These are genuine Sanwa buttons and these are replicas of the Sanwa style joystick. Um, but they're micro switches so they should work an absolute treat. and uh, They feel lovely. So I 3D printed these little um, surrounds for them. I found myself a little piece of 5mm hardwood plywood from out in the shed and I've marked it up so hopefully you can see on there I've uh, done a little bit of drawing, and I believe with a piece of wood that big, I can make myself a joystick. Uh, it may not look beautiful to start off with, but eventually, when it's all varnished up, it should look pretty good. So there's another piece of wood here which has got uh, the infrastructure or the supports for this to make a nice solid box. Right, let's get outside and do some sawing. So having looked at this and the ergonomics of it on top of the coffee table, it's a little bit tall. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. The easiest way to fix that, chop it in half.
just in case you didn't think 3D printing was useful. <laughs>